prior to the interment, a funeral mass was held in honor of Chief Tony Aneni at the St. Anthony Catholic Cathedral, Uromi, where the Bishop of the Diocese of Uromi, Most Reverend Dr. Donatus Ogun, described Chief Tony Aneni as an irredeemable optimist who always believed that things can always be done. Bishop Ogun, who eulogized the selling qualities of late Tony Aneni, said that the detribalized Nigerian find his path back to God before he died. He thereafter admonished Christians to always be at the same page with their Creator as heaven and hell are real. His charity was neither partisan nor religiously denominational. He was a man of integrity who stood and lived by his word. The eldest child of the departed, Mrs. Christy Bora, and the first son, Tony Aneni Jr., said their father was protective and supportive to her fault. They highlighted how their father instilled discipline in them, reminding them to always stand on the path of truth. He was just an ordinary man who lived extraordinary life. I thank God for the gift of my father, for his guidance and for his grace. He was generous to a fault. The way he treated his children, he said he wanted to make peace with his God. And a few months after, he answered the call. The array of dignitaries at the ceremony was unprecedented as serving and past governors, ministers, lawmakers, business moguls, and seasoned politicians across political divide turned out on Max to grace the occasion. Some of the dignitaries described Chief Tony Aneni as a right gem of human species who invested in human capacity development that will culminate in national growth. A true detribalized Nigerian. He was a gentleman and a master tactician in politics. An astute politician. Um, uh, you could call him a political mathematician. He was a great man. He had, when he was alive, time for everyone. Chief Adoni Aneni, irrespective of his personality, he was very humble. Some of the dignitaries include Governor Suroke Dixon of Baisa State, Governor Ifa Inokoa of Delta State, Chief Dan Obi, Chief James Ibori, Chief Mike Ogadome, and Chief Tom Ikemi. Chief Tony Aneni, a retired Deputy Commissioner of Police and astute politician, was also known as Mr. Fixit. He died at the age of 85. Described as an elder statesman, a seasoned politician, and a philanthropist of a high repute, Chief Anthony Aneni has been laid to rest in his hometown, Uromi. He was the Iyasere of Issa land, meaning that he was next in command to every paramount ruler in Issa Kingdom. His departure has been coined by many as a vacuum that cannot be filled. Reporting from Middle Central, Ferdinand Usokwe.